Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to Polly Skies, a laid back village builder where we build on little floating islands up in the sky because down on the ground there are monsters and beasties and things which want to eat us, so the islands up in the sky are nice and safe. So we're going to build homes and farms, we build portals to move between the floaty islands, we do some trading with these wonderful airships that are pootling about the place, it all sounds very lovely indeed. And according to the Steam Store page, the game is designed to help us relax and I quite like like the sound of that because you know life can get quite busy with many things going on and all these different bits and bobs happening and I think it's important to just take it easy from time to time so hopefully we can just chill out a bit up here in the sky with a bit of poly skies. Now we're playing the full version of the game here we did get a key from the developer so a huge big thank you to them for that but the demo is available right now on Steam as I record this as always there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below so you can go and check the game out and grab the demo yourself if you'd like to. But anyway, time to get on with it, I think. To the skies! Okay, here we go. Welcome to Polly Skies. The land beneath has been overrun by monsters. Up here in the clouds, we are safe for now at least. As you build, you will need more villagers to expand. Find or trade new villagers at the end of every week when the airship arrives. You can unlock new building tiers by gaining more villagers. Keep track of this in the milestone panel. Okay, so we've got to go and check out the milestone panel. And we've got tier one buildings. I imagine these are quite basic. So I imagine that's a little house, got a windmill, got some sort of storage thing possibly. Not quite sure what that is. Not quite sure what that is. And we have a lovely bit of deck or a nice little kind of street light type thing. Okay, right, so very good. Now, very important question. Is spacebar pause? Yes, it is. I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. We're going to get on just fine. Right, so what have we got? So here is the floaty island that we're starting on. And there are quite a lot of floaty islands. In fact, there are many floaty islands. Wow, there's loads of them. There are loads and loads of them. There must be... There's three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. What about 15, 16 and that? So that's a great deal of floaty islands. So on this one, got some trees, got some rocks, got a bit of water, and there are these weird glowing crystally things. Not quite sure what we do with those, but okay, I imagine we'll come to that at some point. And in terms of resources, it looks like we have no food at all. That could be a little bit of a bother. Got 500 wood. 400 stone, 250, I assume that's metal or iron or something. Ah, there we go. And zero magic glowy crystally things. Okay, six population, nobody's very happy, I imagine. And we've got no money. And we're on the Phoenix size. Hang on. Can we change the name of that? Oh, we can. Okay, well, hang on. We're not going to call this the Phoenix Isles. We're going to call it something else. We're going to call it Isle of Tea because when you say Isle of Tea, it sounds like you're saying I love tea. And that is true for me. So there we go. This is now the Isle of Tea. And I think we'd better get building. So I think first, maybe we get some people some houses because nobody's got anywhere to live. And our little people all look very sad indeed. Look, they're just sort of looking a bit glum and staring at the floor. Um, oh, there's Merlin Cart Shake. That is a fantastic name. Merlin Cart Shape. They escape Dragonstone. As a pilot, they're generally very happy. Ah, okay, right. So the villagers have got skills in different things. So we've got Merlin Cart Shake, Logain Dark Braid. We've got Oswith Roland Fold. These names are absolutely completely brilliant. Severus Moss. That is very good. Um, Gabel Spellsword and Felix Whitehall. Okay, we've got some great names going on. Right, let's get some homes set up. I mean, I think maybe let's get some homes over here. I think we keep around this uh, sort of uh, pond over here a little bit free because we might need to build like fishing docks or whatever. So for now, let's put some houses over here, shall we? Let's get a few homes. So there's build. Um, okay, all right, community. Okay, hut. Houses, three villages. Okay, so a couple of huts should be okay. Uh, okay, where's the door? Is that how we turn it around? Right, like that. There's the door. So I think what we'll do is we'll have one there and then can we have another one pretty much next door to it. So there we go. We'll have a little sort of a nice little street going on facing slightly away. Um, do they just ping into existence or do we need somebody to go and hit them with hammers? Hang on, unpause time. Uh, no, they just kind of they just uh, boop into existence. Okay. I mean, yet they don't use the doors. That's okay. Who needs a door when you're up on a magic floaty land anyway? So there we go. Right. Pause time again for a second. So let's see what else we can do. What was that thing? Mooring. Ah, that's what that thing was. It's a mooring. 
allows airships for trading. Okay, so resources. We're going to uh, going to need a farm soon because we've not got much in the way of food. But we're also going to need an arborist, I imagine, to top up our wood. So how about we get an arborist over there somewhere? Um, ah, right. Okay, can't quite build in there, unfortunately. Okay, how about we put them there, as near as we can to the trees? So do that. Now, do we need to assign people to that? Uh, hang on, come out of that. Uh, right, pointy finger. Right, there we go. Right, so let's have... We've only got six people. Let's have a couple of people assigned to the arborist to go and chop down some trees and get some wood. That could be quite useful because yeah, we've gone through a bit of that already. And then I think food has got to be our main concern. So hang on, resources. Let's get a farm and rotate it around. It does look pretty. Look at that. That looks very nice. Um, let's put the farm... Let's put it there. Is that the whole extent of the farm? Or do we put fields beside it? Um, no, that's it. It's a little kind of dainty, tiny farm with a with a windmill attached to it. Okay, so can we get another one? Just to make sure we have enough food going on. So if we put another one... Hang on, can we sort of have it like that? So it's looking a little bit sort of... Uh, not symmetrical isn't the right word, I don't think. But yeah, look, so we can have it like that. Um, okay, and then come out of that. So yeah, we'll have one person working in that one. One person working in that one. And as we get more people, we'll just top that up. Okay, so a couple of lovely farms, some little houses, a nice woodcuttery place. I quite like this. And look, 93% happiness. Everyone's delighted. Um, okay, so I think, hang on, in community, we've got the huts. Um, yes, we do need to get the mooring thing in so the airships can come by. I mean, where do we want that? I kind of feel like that needs a lot of room. We'll just pop that in over there for now. Um, and then we've got a farm, a ah, storage barn. Okay, that might be quite handy. Pop a storage barn just there, look. That's okay. Arborist, right, defence. Watch post, we can't build that. And decor, oh yes, yeah, street lanterns. Street lanterns, we want lots of, hang on, pause time for a second. Um, what resource are they? Five wood, one stone and one metal, I assume that is. Okay, this is very, I like this. Little street lights, there we go. Turn it round. Pop that one there. That looks wonderful. Oh, I like that you can see the sort of the cone of light that it's casting down as well. That's very pretty. Uh, we'll put a couple. Oh, you can put them right. Oh, you can put them in the sort of buildings. Oh, that's quite nice. You're not restricted by where the buildings are. So we'll put one over there, look, like that. I quite like that. We'll put one on that side. And then can we have the other one facing that way? So one on that side, just to light the way a little bit. And then... Uh, I think maybe one outside the storage shed would be quite good. And then maybe one over there as well. Just burning our way through all the resources. But look, we've got little light on oh, this smoke coming out. Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. Right. Okay. Unpause time. Let's see what happens. So here we go. 82%, 85% happiness. This is good. What does that do? Remove trees or remove thing entirely. Oh, are they not chopping down the trees? They're just like infinite trees. We just get stuff from them. Oh, okay, right. So if we say remove that tree, what? Oh, it just, right, okay, it just falls down. Okay, right, that's fine. That's okay, I can deal with that. I want to go and get this. How do we, um, how do we mine the mysterious glowy sort of crystally things? I don't know. Look at that night time. That is, that's very nice. I like that. That's really pretty. Okay, what do we need to look at? There was a thing there, milestones. Okay, so building tiers, we need to get to, tier two is 10 villagers. Okay, and then tier 3 is 25 villagers, then 50, then 75, then 100 villagers is tier 6, that's everything. Law, oh, letters. A letter to Endar from Simeon. Oh, Endar, there have been reports of strange humming and vibrations near the mines in Blackrun. Could you have someone take a look at this? People in Blackrun are worried, and my workers don't want to go in there. This has been going on for 12 sun rotations. Foreman Simeon. Oh, there's like a little backstory going on. That's exciting. And a list of villagers as well. Okay, right. So I think, do we have to wait for the um, the airship to come by? I think that's what it said. Call the air... Oh, hang on. We can call the airship to trade. We can call it over. Um, yeah, we haven't got... Hang on, hang on. We might need to get some more food. I think... Let's put you working in there and somebody else working in there. Okay, but right now it's night time. That's fine. So move time on nice and quick. I like that. That's moving on pretty quickly. That is some speedy time moving. Oh, there's the airship thing. 
There's the airship. A trade ship will arrive at the end of each week. Okay, so day two, week one. I mean, there's not that much for us to do right now. I suppose what we could do, if we're going to get more people, we might as well get some more huts set up, just in case. So if people do arrive, they've got somewhere to live without us having to go, oh, hang on a minute, let me build you a house. So how about we build, yeah, let's build, and we'll have one there, look, and we'll get a hut, we'll leave a gap there, we'll have a hut there, and then one there, and then one there. So a little kind of street. And in fact, you know, I know I said we wouldn't put anything over it, but we're just going to rotate that around very quickly. And can we get anything over there? Oh, no, we can't get the house next to the thing. I thought maybe we could get one in. Oh, hang on. There, Joe. You know what? That'll do. Like that. That's good. And then hang on a minute. We need some lights. It's a bit dark around here now. So pop a light in. Pop a light there. And pop a light just there. I like that. Oh, hang on. This hasn't got a light by. Hang on a minute. Put a light over there so the airships can be you know, guided by the light. Okay, wonderful. So an entire day just went by. That's very good. Hang on, I slowed time down there somehow. Um, yeah, look, I like that. So an entire day just went by. We did a few bits of bobs. They gathered some resources. And now the airship is almost here with us. So, okay, each week has three days by the look of it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'd love to know why they're floating. I assume it's the rocks underneath. I assume the magic crystally things are allowing these places to float. Yeah, look, there's some sticking out the bottom there. I mean, there are there are sort of things in the distance, look. There's like a peak over there, mountains over there. It's very pretty. It's very lovely to look at. I like the way you can go quite far away and zoom straight back in. Okay, so is an airship going to pop by? Because if it is, we're going to have a good look at that because I imagine it's going to look very good. But yeah, look, it says it's almost here. So where is our trade ship? We've got a thing... We've got a thing for them to land. So I assume maybe it's, I don't know, do they arrive in the morning of the next week? Morning of week two, possibly? I don't know. Right, let's run time on nice and quick and we'll see when the airship turns up. Because it's got to turn up at some point because we need to get some more people in. Otherwise, we can't build more buildings and do more stuff and get everything going. So, um, yeah, let's just get through to the morning and we'll see if the airship's going to arrive or not. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hang on a second. Yeah, it arrives in the morning. That is very lovely. Look at that. That's huge. Lovely airship. Right. Hello. How do we trade with you? We want to hang on. Pause time for a second. I want to get some people because it said it'll bring people. So we can trade. I mean, what, what do we do with that? What do we do with that? I don't know what we do with that. It says call airship to trade. But I mean, yeah, we want to. How do we get people on board? Because I thought that's how it said we get people. This thing brings. Oh, hang on. Trade up there. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Right. So there are different types of trading. I'm pause time. So we can click on that thing to do some simple trading. Or when this thing arrives, we press that trade button there. OK. Pair transportation fee to accept new villagers into your village. OK. So we've got no coins right now. So how much is it? Right. So we can't do anything. We have got an OK amount of food and we've got some wood we could sell. So how about what if we said we can sell, I don't know, 50 wood sell 50 wood and sell 50 of our food and sell 50 stone. That means we're going to get 600 coins. How much is it for a person? 100 coins per person. Okay, so if we go up like that, so get six new people, can we possibly relinquish a bit of whatever that might be as well? So how about we get rid of 50 of that and 50 more wood because that comes back. Um, and then we can get, oh, hang on, a new person and a new, hang on, we can get loads of new people. Hang on, yeah, there we go. Do we get more for that? Oh, I think we get more for that. Okay, let's get 13 new people in and we'll have a bit of change left over as well. So accept that, yes, new people arrive, tier two buildings. Okay, here we go. Not sure what they are, but they look very exciting. Okay, accept that. That's exciting. Right, away with the... Okay, cancel that then. Away with the trade thing. There's all the new people. And they've all got houses to go to because we planned ahead. A very ungeek company, but we did it. Look. Right, okay. Welcome, new people. This is very exciting. Okay, what can we build now? So in decor, we can build some path. Oh, we can build a little street. We can get a little street in. Yes, this is amazing. And the decorative path is just five bits of stone. Okay, yeah, we, we can afford this. This is wonderful. Oh, and it can just overlay, look. 
can just sort of overlap. It can go there. Then we can have a bit there. Then we can have a bit there. We'll have a bit going through the middle. We'll have a bit coming that way. I don't like that tree being there, by the way. Away with you, tree. Fell that tree. Thank you very much. Um, hang on. Back to building the lovely path. I want it to kind of go up to the um, to the fields there. So it can sort of be like that. So it looks like it's a little sort of a nice cobble path going along. There we go. That's wonderful. Right. Okay. We still can't build the watch post. Resources wise, fishery. Okay. Right. Perfect. Uh, I would have assumed that we would place the... Hang on. Have we got enough stuff to build the fishery? Um, 50 wood and 10 stone. Okay. Maybe there's no fish. Maybe that's just a pond and there's no fish in it. Hang on. Have we got have we got other bodies of water? Can we see if they have fish in them? Um, I know we can't build on here, but is that how it works? Oh, it doesn't go right to the edge. Oh, it doesn't sit flush to the edge. It kind of sits back a little bit. Oh, okay. Right, hang on. So if we bring that... Can we put it there, perhaps? So if we sort of position that... Uh, oh, it's not, it's not happy. It's, I can't make it go round anymore that way. Hang on. We must be able to get round this. Um, it's not exactly sitting as I would like it to. Um, ah, there. That's a bit naff, isn't it? Hang on a minute. That's also not great. Um, I want it to kind of be in the middle between the two. <laughs> do you know what? That, that might have to do. There we go. We're going to get some fish. Not very well placed, but that'll do. So let's put two of our people in there. So that'll get us some more food. I think given we have a load of new people, we should possibly get the farms maxed out nine idle people now so maximize that thing over there let's maximize the fishery as well to get all the stuff from that and then what else can we build so fishery arborist quarry for mining stone and a mine for mining metals okay quarry for mining stone okay uh how is ah right that just goes anywhere okay Let's put it over. I remember the R chopping the trees down. We'll put that out. Yeah, look, they are felling the trees. We'll put that out in the middle of nowhere because that's okay. You don't need to be near that. So, okay, get that done. And we'll have a maximum. Oh, no, hang on. Maybe not. That's that, that holds a lot of people. Three people can work in that. And then how about we get a mine for mining metals so that doesn't go on the stone? Oh, okay. I thought it might go on the stone. We'll pop that over there and then we'll have a number of people working in there. So two people can work in there to pick up metal. We still can't pick up shiny gem things. And then what's in the community? So hut, lodge, campfire. Yes. Okay, how about then we have a little campfire over here, look. We put the campfire there and we can all sit round it and have a lovely time. And then it, you know, nobody's sort of front doors looking out over it. They can look out over the back of it, from the back of the house or whatever. But yeah, if we put that like that, I quite like that. Hang on a minute. And then can we get sort of like a stone thing underneath it? Yes. Okay, this is very good. I like this. Um, and then we've got a portal to connect the islands. Ah, but we need five gemstone things to get that. Okay, right. Don't do that right now. We could get a lodge. We could get a nice lodge set up. Possibly that might be quite a good idea. Um, how about we have a lodge? Can we, hang on, hang on, a tree. Away with you, tree. Away with you. There we go. Boop. Right, that tree goes down. Does that give us wood? I don't know. Right, hang on. And then a lodge could go like that, look. Boop. And now people can live in slightly fancier houses. Okay, this is wonderful. I like this. It is relaxed. It's very calm. It's just very sort of chilled out. Doesn't matter where you put things, really. Stuff is just ticking over very nicely indeed. Um, how about then, given we're now gathering these materials, how about we sell a bit of metal? So let's sell 50 metal and then let's sell 50... Yeah, the stone's worth quite a lot. So sell 10 lots of stone to get up to 600 and then maybe sell a little bit of food to get us up to 700. Um, hang on, what's the next limit? What's the next person limit? If we get six people in, that gets us to 25. Does that get us to the next level? Yes, it does. Tier three buildings. Ah, we've got the balloon thing. Okay, right. So more people can join. I think those people will have houses. They can go into the nice big house over there around the campfire. Um, eight idle villages. Okay, do you know what? Max that out. Max that out. Wonderful. One idle village is just hanging around the place, but that's okay. 
Right, so how are we doing in terms of milestones? So the next one is 50 people. But I would like to now maybe have a look around the other islands. I'd like to... Yeah, do we have to do some trading? What well, we could do, hang on. Right, so get time moving on very quickly. I'm surprised that's still here. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Pause time. A small winged flying thief. These little scoundrels love to burn anything made of wood. Warning. We've been known to pick up villagers from time to time. Build a watch balloon to take care of them. Okay, very important. Where is this? Where is the baddie flying thingamajig? Okay, I don't know where it is, but we're going to build a balloony thing. A watch post. Defends against threats. Okay, so should we put that? Uh, it looks like we can tuck it anywhere. Let's put it there. And then do we have to put somebody into it? Yes. Okay, so let's put somebody into it. Can we maybe collect less stone and put more people into that? Or is it one? But it's one person. One person per balloon. That's absolutely fine. I can deal with that. That's okay. So now you're up there in the sky watching over our settlement. And the big airship goes away. Oh, this, look at it. It's so pretty. It's so lovely. And look, you've got a little trail of things. A little trail of smoke. That's fantastic. There's the thing. There's the flying thing. Okay. So we have to watch this. Be careful. So all the people are running to their jobs. So about eight o'clock they start their working day. Here comes a red flying thing. Okay, please deal with the red flying thing. You look like you should be near enough to deal with the red flying thing. Ah, okay, hang on. We're firing stuff at the red flying thing, look. Right, good. We dealt with this. That house took a little bit of damage, possibly. But overall, we dealt with that quite well. Okay, Wonderful stuff. Right, let's run time on pretty quickly until we can just gather a lot of resources. We are getting so much food. So much food. Stone is coming in. Metal is coming in. That's really good because metal gives us lots and lots of lovely coins. And then we get more people in. Oh, hang on. That person's had to go down. Why are they doing that? Oh, they're eating. They're eating. Okay, maybe we do need to get another defense balloon thing. But uh, yeah, food is looking very good. Food is looking wonderful. It's a shame we can't mine that stuff. I assume at some point do we do we unlock a mine to go and grab that possibly? I guess we can check. Why don't we have a nosy? Resources. Yeah, there you go. A gemologist for mining crystals. Oh yeah, we unlocked some decor, didn't we? Thin path, corner path. Oh. Oh yes, look at this. We've got little sort of fancy path bits. We can just have a bit going like that and another corner path. And it could go like that around the front of the fancy house. Okay, that's magnificent. Um, can we get another... Don't move. Can we get another fancy house? Get another lodge just next door to the other one? Just pop that in. There we go. So six more people can live here. I don't quite know what our housing limit is at the minute. But I think we've probably got enough homes. I imagine it's okay. Why don't we then make a little street along here and put another defence balloon down here eventually? That might be quite fun. So let's get let's get a lodge. So the lodge can hang on, hang on. I want to get rid of these trees. Away with all of these trees. Be gone. Particularly those spindly looking ones. Be gone, spindly trees. There we go. Right. So cleared that out a little bit. So I think, yeah, if we go to here, grab some lodges. So they're what? 50 wooden 10 stone. Okay, so we can build another three of these. Yeah, okay. So we'll have one like that. And then we'll have another one next door like so, and then another one next door to that, if we can. Oh, there was a space just somewhere where we could put that. It might have to sit slightly back, because I think that rock is in the way, but that's okay. So three things there. We're down on wood, but now we can go to decor. We can get a square path to just come through this way, and then along. And what's that thin path? Yeah, we can have a thin path running across the front of those, look. That looks quite good. Thin path, and then a corner bit. Oh yes, this is this is marvellous. Corner bit like that. Oh, no, hang on. It's Oh, it's going a bit wonkaloids. Hang on. Uh, that, there, that'll do. Whatever, that's fine. And then a thin bit of path going across like that. And then we'll just have to put a thin bit sort of in like that. So you can walk along the path and go to there. Oh, I like that. Oh, hang on. There's a thing. Ah, we are shooting at it. Okay, right. I think we do need to get another one of those in over here. Maybe get sort of one on each corner of the island. 
that might be quite a useful thing. Okay, right, so red flying dragony things are a little bit of an issue, but we could possibly sort them out. Right, okay, run time on pretty quickly. I think really we need to gather loads of resources and then we need the trade ship to come back because we need to just, you know, go and grab loads more stuff from it, do some selling stuff and then get some more people. So, okay, let's wait for the trade ship to just, you know, plop back in over here. Oh, look at that. A little balloony guard person remains there overnight. That's very good. Oh, no. And they've come to eat some food. And the moment they're eating food, they've had the things around. Okay, right. We've dealt with it. It's okay. It's okay. We do need some more of those things. One on each corner, I think, would be quite beneficial. However, hello, trading ship. How are you? Right, we have 100 money remaining. So we'll have a new person. Thank you so much. And then we do have quite a lot of food to sell. So why don't we get rid of, say, 220 food? So that brings us down to about 200 food, mass with penge. And then wood we don't want to sell. Stone, get rid of maybe 30. So we've still got over 100. And then metal, get rid of, I don't know, 70. So that gives us a massive pile of coins. And then, can we, how much is one of those? So one crystally gem thing is not that much money. Okay, so can we buy 10 of those? That might be quite fun. Just have 10 of those. And then can we get some more people? Can we say get another eight people? That could be quite handy. So um, yeah, okay, let's do that, shall we? Wonderful, like that. So we've got 10 crystally things. So now we can build a portal. But job number one, let's get these things done. So what do we need to build those? Um, yeah, we need 30 wood, 5 stone and 5 metal. Okay, so wood might be a bit of a problem. Wood might be an issue. So we can build two of these right now. So we'll have one. Oh, hang on a minute. We can't build it where I thought we could build. One just there then. That's okay. And then we'll put one over here, look. And then we need some more wood. Okay, what we need to do then, let's go to resources Let's get, hang on, can we move, we can move things, can't we? Can we just pick that up and move it? Yeah, let's move the arborist more over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've picked up all the trees. I didn't mean to, I don't want to move the trees. Uh, okay, hang on, escape? No, that doesn't help either. Oh, everything's gone back to the way it was. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, do you know what? I'm just going to press, oh, no, that's in the way of everything. I'm just going to press that button there. And no, it's, oh, really, right, hang on a minute. I just, I don't want to move anything anymore. But have I broken that building? Have I broken that? Can people work in there? No, three people are in there. It's just red now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Um, oh, hang on. We'll just put it there, look. Can we just drop it there? We can't, I want to move it out the way. But I want to just for it to go away. Uh... <laughs> Maybe it means move it to a different island, possibly. I don't know, but now I've made it red. I've made it red and angry. Okay, right. What we're going to do is we're going to build another one of those. We're going to get another arborist because we need some more wood. So pop another one there. Oh, hang on. We haven't got enough wood. Is that the problem? We need 30 wood to build the arborist. Okay, but right, that's fine. I mean, we could. We could just go to here and say, hello, can I buy some wood, please? Can I just buy... That's only 10 wood. Hang on, sell a bit of food. Can I do that, please? Can I buy 20 wood? There we go. Then we get ourselves a new arborist. And they should generate even more wood in the long run. There we go. Wonderful. Right, so click that maximum into there. Five idle people. But now we can click on that. Have a defence person there. Have a defence person there. And then... Have we got enough wood to build that yet? 30? No. And now it's night time. Okay, that's fine. Right, move time on nice and quick. But look, now we've got... Three mighty defense balloons. All we need is a fourth one over here. And I feel like our little sort of starting island, at least, will be quite safe. And there we go. You've come in and you're being shot at by the defense balloons. Take that nefarious little red flying dragony thingamajigs. Okay, it's mid-afternoon and we have no wood at all. I suspect maybe I've broken the trees. I'm not entirely sure how to repair the trees. But yeah, that building being an angry shade of red is clearly not a good thing. It's not supposed to be like that. The only thing is, I'm not quite sure how we get it back. We might have to, possibly. Can we do that? Um, can we call an airship to trade? Can we trade um, 100 stone? Maybe get some wood and then try to relocate that other arborist. Because I think we can't relocate it 
because we can't put it down again because it costs wood, I suspect. So, okay, uh, let's do that. Call an airship to trade food. So how does that work then? So we've called it. Does it just appear now or what? Don't know what happened there. We gave away some food. We gave Our food went down. Did we get money? We didn't get money for it. Uh, okay, not quite sure what happened there. Maybe it just calls the airship in earlier. Maybe we don't have to wait until the end of the week. It's just going to come in pretty much immediately. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like we just wasted a huge amount of food there, which isn't ideal. But there we go. Right, okay, get this sorted. What's our next goal? We need to get to 50 people. Yeah, there we go, look. Okay, right, that's what that's about. So you can summon it in by paying some resources and it comes in earlier. Okay, right, I see. Okay, go to trade. Can we please get, uh, we'll sell you a load of metal. That's fine. You can have, you can have much of that. Can we have 40 wood, please? Okay, so 40 wood. Now we go and try and move this thing around. <laughs> um, we've picked up all the trees again. This is not what I wanted to happen. Stop. I don't want to pick up all the trees. <laughs> I just want to move one thing. I just want to move that building because it's in an angry shade of red. But no, we can't seem to, I can't pick it up. Or if I can, I can't place it back down again, look. It's just sort of stuck. I'm not quite sure how we go about that. We've got all the trees. I don't want all the trees. <laughs> um, Right. Okay, so we've broken the wood collecting. That, that, that's fine. We'll just keep buying it in. We'll just work on the um, the metal. It's okay. So uh, we'll put minimum people. Hang on, let's put maximum people into there for now. Minimum people into that one. We'll just see if we get some wood. That'll be handy. Um, and then, oh, hang on a minute. Click on the trading thing. We need to get some more people in. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Portal. Can we build a magical portal thingamajig? 100 stone. 10 metal and five crystally things. Yes, we can. Okay, how about we build the portal? Um, where would look good for this? Where's going to be good for our magic island hopping portal? Maybe just here, look. Maybe just there. Where's the, where's the front? I imagine that, oh, I don't know. They both kind of look similar. I imagine that's the front of the portal facing toward the village. So let's pop that down like that. Now, what does that do? How do we use this? Connecting islands far away. Okay. Oh, do we need to build another one? So if we want to go over here, for example, do we build another portal over there? And then they can just sort of pootle about between the two. Uh, okay, hang on then. That's got to be the front of it. It's got like a little step. So if we just put that there, if we put that there, we haven't got a stone. Okay, right. Hang on. Well, well, let's move time on pretty quickly. We'll gather that stone in no time at all. The stone comes in quite quick, look. So as soon as we have 100 stone, which is going to happen very soon, isn't it, villagers? There we go. Press that. And now we've got a little thing over here. Oh, no, we are gathering wood. We're gathering wood again. Hooray! Everything is fine with the world. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Put that. Put. Hang on. Come out of that. Put that back onto maximum... Uh, no, we can't put that back onto Maxim. Okay, that's broken. It's fine. It's whatever the case. It's all good. We're gathering many resources. And I think as well, hang on a second. Pop our balloon over here. Put a person into it. And that's that island nice and protected from the flying red troublesome ne'er-do-well dragony things. So there we go. Wonderful. Two idle people. But now, if we go over here then, if we say, okay, there's some, uh, some wood over here. Could we potentially grab the wood from over here. So if we say, yeah, arborist. So if we just put an arborist in, it's a quite busy island over here, isn't it? There's a lot going on of trees, which is good. That's precisely what we want. So if we rotate that around, can we fit that in there somewhere? No, it might have to go over there. What if we put an arborist just there? So if we do that and then say, okay, I'd like two people to go and work there. <gasps> Are they going to come through the portal now? Are they going to walk through the portal or are they all asleep? They might all possibly be in bed because, you know, it is late. It's it's all of seven o'clock in the evening, so they might all be asleep. Okay, how about then? How about to go with that? How about, no, not move. I don't want to move anything, thank you. Um, How about, hang on, hang on. I forgot to put the street lights in. We've, we've, we've abandoned the street lighting. Put a little street light in because it looks amazing. And then how about we get a lodge? Just put a lodge next door. 
for the uh, the tree cutting people to live in. Although we are struggling to find... Uh, there you go. Pop it in like that so I can live over here. I think that might work out quite well. And grab a street light and just pop that. Can we zoom in a bit? Yeah, there we go. Can I make sure it looks nice? So one on that side. Do you know what? Let's treat them. Let's go to one on that side as well. Wonderful. Right, so come out of that. So yeah, it does look quite nice. But yeah, are they going to come over via the portal? I think we might have to wait until the morning. I suspect they're going to be asleep over on our main island there. So, okay, right, run time on. Let's get through to the morning and we'll see if anybody pops our little kind of stargate type thing over here. Okay, so 7.30 in the morning. I think about 8 o'clock is when they actually do go to work. So is anybody going to pop through this portal here and go to work over here? Or do we have to claim this island or something? I don't really know. Let's see, shall we? So here we go. Run time on a bit. Nobody's coming through thus far. Hang on. Do we have to connect them together, maybe? Connecting islands far away. And that just said connecting islands far away. So the island should be connected, I would have thought. And you can walk through the portal. So why have we not got anybody going over there? I'm not entirely sure what's happening with that. Have we got enough food, by the way? Are we generating enough food? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. We've not got anybody over here. Also, that house I built appears to have entirely vanished. <laughs> Where did the house go? <laughs> house? It was there because we put... Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. No, not move. That. Can we can we put it back in? There was a lodge there. We put the street lights around it. No, okay. Why have you done this to us? They were perfectly arranged. Hang on. Like that, look. There you go. A lodge. Right. There. Oh, I bet it got got by a fire thingamabob. I bet it got got, didn't it? It got knocked down by one of the troublesome things. Hang on a minute. Put a defense balloon in and come out of that and put somebody in the def... There's nobody left. Okay, we haven't got any people left to do any stuff. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. Um, Go to... Uh, oh, crikey's. Go to one of the farms. Take out a person. That's okay. So one idle person. Come back over here. Put that in. And we'll see what happens. So yeah, if somebody does come through... There you go. Look, hang on, hang on. Somebody did just... They kind of flew through the air between them. They kind of zhuzhed through the air. That's very exciting. Okay, and now they're over here. And they're going up in the balloon. Okay, so is that actually doing anything? Are people working here? I'm not... Oh, hang on, that's the watch post. So two people are supposed to be chopping down trees over there. We're also looking a little bit low in terms of stone. And I've lost where we are. Hang on a minute. There we go. We might need to get some more people. I think we need to get some more people. It looks like metal is your best option for profit because you get quite a lot of money for that. So how are we doing over here? They're still working on that. Six people in the quarry, but the quarry doesn't seem to be making as much money as I thought it might do. Uh, not so much money, as much stone. Let's clear. Maybe those trees are in the way. Maybe they can't get to it because of the trees. I don't know. That was just a random speculative guess. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, right. Run time on very quickly indeed. And we'll just see what happens. Yeah, we'll grab a load of resources. It might come to the point where we basically wait for the trade ship to arrive and then just spend all our cash on getting more people in so we can get the next tier of building things. I would like to get a gemologist because that sounds fun. I think... There's not much else for us to unlock. A gemologist and a shrine. Okay. So a place to worship and raise happiness. That could be quite good. People are relatively happy anyway. But if we can make it better, that would be no bad thing at all. Um, but yeah, we need to get to 50 people. So we need another 17 people to get to the next tier of buildings. So that's what I think we'll do. We'll wait for the ship to arrive. We'll have loads of things by then. And then we can just do a bit of selling. Well, it seems to be relatively lacklustre right now. Like, where are all the people doing the... Why is nobody mining stone? Nobody's mining any stone. Is it the weekend or something? Is everyone just having some time off? I'm not sure. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. I think this person here is going through the portal. So watch the portal. Nope, they're not. They're going to that thing. Botherations. I thought they were going to the portal. I thought they'd come to have a bit of food. No, that's a bit of a shame. Are you going to the portal? Nope, you're going to go and do some farming. It's much less exciting, but possibly more important for, you know, staying alive. Right, okay, yeah, move time on very quickly. We're not gathering any resources at all. I assume maybe, yeah, on the end of the week we don't do resource gathering, because, yeah, nothing is ticking up at all. Nothing is going up. 
do you know what? It, that's fine. That's fine. We've got plenty of stuff. Tomorrow they'll be all over it. They'll get loads of stuff tomorrow. It's going to be great. Okay, so I've been watching what's been going on over here on the settlement, and it looks like the only people doing any work are the farmers. So the farmers are all out here doing some farming. I think I saw the fishery person go and do some fishing. Although they should be out on the dock, I think. I thought they saw them go that way. No, there they go. They've gone back inside. So they were doing some fishing, possibly. But nobody went out to the mine, and nobody went out to the quarry. So I'm not quite sure what's happening. I mean, maybe they have a finite resource. I'm not quite sure. Maybe those trees are in the way. Hang on, let's get rid of those two trees. Maybe they are in the way. Maybe they can't get to them because there are trees in the way or something. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll get time running on again until tomorrow in the morning. So about eight o'clock, I think, is when they start. So run forward about, you know, another, what, 11 and a half or whatever hours, 11-ish hours, a bit less than that now. But um, yes, yeah, so we'll see if that makes a difference. We'll see if that makes any difference at all, because the um, the metal particularly is where we make all the money. So we do want people going out there and gathering that, because then, of course, we can trade it for more people and build more things and it shall be glorious. But yeah, at the moment, they're not doing anything. So we'll see what we can do with that. Maybe it's because they were blocked or maybe yeah, it is because they've, I don't know, used up all the stuff over there. So let's get to eight o'clock and we'll see if they run out. So were the trees blocking them? No. OK, right. Hang on a second. Hang on. So put time on to slow. What if, come out of that, what if we take everybody out like that and everybody out? So nobody work over there and then put one person back in. Two, three, four, five, six. Right. Now people are going back in. It's as though maybe when I move those trees around, I broke something. Maybe that's why. Yeah, look at that. Now there's loads of people coming in. So yeah, min, max, that. Loads of people going into there. Yeah, it looks like they sort of got stuck, almost. They got a bit stuck. Oh, and there's the campfire. We didn't go and see that in action. Right. Hello there. How are you? We've got quite a lot of food we could sell, which is quite good. So, um, okay, we've got 110 minutes. We can get one more person in. So we now need to get, yeah, 17 people is what we want. So can we sell you a huge amount of food? We can go down to about 200 food because we generate a lot of food. So if we get rid of about, what's that, 330, that's about 200, I think. Um, wood, we can now get rid of a decent amount of that. Stone, we'll keep a bit of that. But metal, we can get rid of 60 of that, I think. Um, and we haven't got any gem things. So if we accept that and go yay, that gives us quite a lot of money. And then we can just get uh, 16 people in now, of course. So like that, boop. We've now got tier four buildings. So the kind of, um, yeah, church temple-y thing. And oh, we've got the, the gem thingamabob in. Yes. Okay, right. Hang on. That's good. That's good. Where's the gem thingamabob? There you go. Gemologist. So a gemologist for mining crystals. Okay, so now we can just mine crystals out of the floor. Wonderful. Yes, we'll have one of those, please. Maximize the people in there. That's good. Um, how about over here, we get a mine over here as well. That house has gone again. <laughs> Why is that house gone? Please leave our house alone over here, flying angry bird thingamajigs. We just try and live a peaceful life. Stop coming and destroying our house. Right, there we go. Another house boops back into existence. Not in quite as good as a place it was before, but never mind. I will put another one of those. Uh, there, there, there. Can we build one of those? 30 wood, fires. Yeah, we should be able to build another one. Maybe it's just because there are trees. There we go. Like that, look. So get rid of that. Put another person in that one. Um, yeah, where do they go? Oh, uh, you see, look, they have to go all the way over there for their food. They go all the... Here we go. What? There we go. Look, we can see people going through the portal, look. So we can see you going through this portal. He's going to kind of go... Whoop. He's just going to sort of walk but through the air and then boop over onto that one there. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. I like that. Right, so look. Yeah, that must be what's happening. Now we've got two guards. Maybe that building won't be destroyed all the time. But they do have to keep going to the... Um, have to keep going back to the main island. That's a little bit of a nuisance, isn't it? What we could do is we could remove a good number of those trees there. That'd be okay. And then come over here, build us another couple of lodges. So that'd be okay. So I think, yeah, we'll have one there. And then we'll have another one there. Can we get a third one in? Can we fit one into that little gap? Yes, we can. No, we can't. We haven't got enough wood. Haven't got enough wood. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Um, I was thinking of a temple. Can't get a temple in right now. That's a bit of a shame. Campfire, we can't do. We can't build anything. We can't do anything. But oh, we can't get a mine. I was thinking we'd get a mine because we have got 10 idle people. Uh, do you know what? Right, run time on pretty quickly. 
get time moving nice and fast. When we've got some wood, we'll then put a mine over here to gather even more metal, because that's the big money spinner. And then eventually we'll go and sell that and it should be fun. In fact, while that ship's there, why don't we just grab an extra person? Just grab one more person. So 51. Our next goal, 75 people. That's a lot of people. How do we get... Ah, do we have to move between different islands? Maybe when we go to a different island, we uh, pick up a bit of law. Simeon, I've had many reports like this. I fear something is happening in our land. Please stay away and close off your minds until further notice. I will send a team of experts to investigate. End our continent mine manager. Okay, so something went wrong with the mines. Did they did they dig too deep and too greedily and let something out that was down in the mines? Possibly they did. Right. Okay, get through to about eight o'clock and Okay. So people again, nobody's out here. Min Max. People are gonna rush out to do that. Ah, right, okay. Man, there's a little bit of something weird going on between these things, but that's okay. And min and max that, please. So now are people gonna go and do the gem mining? Because that'd be fun. Yes! Oh, I see. We just put a big deposit of gems down on the surface and they just go and do that. Well, that they just... <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen people... That's two people stood next to each other, not somebody with a weirdly inflating head. But, um, yeah, you don't look overly busy. They don't look very busy about things, but whatever, that's fine. Um, is it because the store's full? Is the storage barn full? Do we need another barn to put things in? Maybe we need to get a few more of those around. Maybe I've just sort of underestimated the amount of things that we're keeping around the place. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, yeah, hello, uh, Min, Max. We need some people out chopping wood. Please do that, Min, Max. Can't put anybody in there for some reason. Slightly odd. Um, okay, they can gather some wood. We need some wood, please. So that'll be useful. So uh, right, hang on. Run time on pretty quickly. Right, 50 wood. Splendid. So I think, yeah, if we get another storage thing... Does that help? Does that help at all? If we just put one in, can we now store more things so people don't have to be, keep, be, uh, keep being told to go out and do their jobs? We have stocked up on quite a lot of stuff there. That's good. And I think it might mean over here we could then put another mine. We could sink another mine, say, over there, for example, or over here for uh, anywhere. There was a gap. It flickered. And there, look. So pop a mine over there. And we'll have six people working over there. That does leave five idle people. That's plenty. Are they going to come over now? No. I think it's the end of the day. And they're just going to stay at their home until the morning. So it's going to get to the morning and they're going to come over. We must have a lot of good names now. Loads of names. Dorothy Greenshot. Linda Cragg. Morwag Brickmark. This is very exciting. Oh, Martha Whitehall is watching the skies. But they're a bit sad. Is it? Oh, because they're hungry. Okay, but they are up in the sky doing a job. Um, Gwyneth Restrock, Tyra Tegwaneath, uh, Ildric Shieldwright. That sounds like a very good, exciting name. The names are amazing. Look at these. Um, another cart shake. Did we have a cart shake earlier? Merlin cart shake. Hermione Greenshot. Hermione Crystal Spirit. Okay, a few, a few Hermione's there. Dorothy Swift Fingers. Oh, there's, there's loads of people. Many people. Okay, right. This is good. This is good stuff. We're gathering. Okay, I'm not entirely sure we are gathering anything again. Uh, do we have to keep doing that? Do we have to keep sort of clicking this? Min, max? Do we need to keep doing that to make people... Yeah, look, they're all coming through the portals now. I think that, yeah, maybe there's a tiny, tiny thing going on there. But okay, we can work around it. But there's a little tiny sort of baguette going on there. It's being a little bit strange, isn't it? But that's fine. Min, max that. Get people out there chopping wood, please. And, um, yeah, can we min-max that as well? Um, no, we can't, we can't max that. Oh, we've maxed it out. Okay, no, we have maxed that one out. And then over there, that got min-max as well. Okay, so we should gather some good resources today then. The only thing is we have to remember to do that at about 8 o'clock in the morning because, you know, by the time we've done that, the day's over and they just clear off again. So, hang on, 8 o'clock in the morning, we'll get some more resources gathered. We'll see what we can do. But there we go. Look, yes, we're getting there. We're on two islands. I mean, ideally... I'd like to just build a load of portals to all the different islands to get the final three letters. I now want to know what the law is. What happened? What happened with the monsters? Was it greed that resulted in the monsters being released? Was it, you know, did they have a plan? Are the monsters organised? I would like to know more. So I wonder, could we, we build a portal 
Hundreds as hundred stone. Hundred stone. Okay, we can't build a portal right now then. Okay, right. So let's get through to eight o'clock in the morning and then we'll redo the thing where we have to tell everyone to go and do their jobs again, which is a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. And then we'll see if we can grab a lot of stone. We've got five idle people. It might be worth, if we could, building a stone mine on the other island to gather twice the amount of stone. That'd be quite useful. Or do we just put it over here? Right, there's the ship thingy. Right, so we go through to eight o'clock. All well, the farmer people are at right. So min max that. Min max that. That makes everyone come out. Min max that. Wonderful. Min max that. That's not entirely working. There we go. Min max that. Wonderful. Min max this to make all the people go to it. Right, that's good. So that's a lot of people doing work from relatively early on. Min max that. Min max that. Okay, that's not working either properly. There we go. Wonderful. Right, so now we should see a load of people flying through the portal to come and work over here. Excellent stuff. Can't you just move house? Can't you just live over here? You work over here. Live next door. There's a big empty house there with all your names on it. Go and live there, please. Somebody must live in that one. Oh, there's smoke coming out. Okay, maybe it's just you know, on fire or something. I don't know. Right, so we've got two people working there. We've got four idle people. We are gathering some good resources. So I wonder, yeah, is it worth getting another stone mine set up over here? Because it would make it a bit different, won't it? So a stone mine. Um, why don't we put it there? Pop it there near the portal. So drop that in. We'll have as many people as we can have working in there. And then we'll do some trade. We've got much in the way of metal to sell. You can have 100 metal and we shall have another 10 people. Thank you. And then you can have a bit of food. How about 50 of our food? Uh, how about slightly more than that? You can have some gems as well, actually. There you go. Oh, they're worth a lot of money of the gems. Good grief. Right. Uh, we'll have... Lots of people, please. In fact, can we get 24 people? Because that gets us up to the next tier, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. We'll have more than 24 people. We'll have that many people. Except that. Okay. So now we're on 78. So, oh. 75 villagers. 78. We've not, we've not met tier 5 quite yet. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're not at tier 5. But can we now build a thing? Can we build a portal to go and look at another island. Hang on. There's a, port there's a portal down there. What's that down there? <laughs> there's a portal at the bottom there. That's a bit weird. Um, yeah, if we put that, say, over here, because that does that give us some more lore after that? Because I'd like it to do that. Do we get a piece of lore? Yes. Okay, so each island we connect to, we get more of the story. Okay, I'm intrigued. A letter from Felix to his wife. Okay, hang on. Felix. Endar to Simeon. Simeon to Endar. So that's the two people in charge saying, hang on a minute, weird things in the mines. Have a look, would you? And somebody saying, yep, I know, many reports. Don't know what it is. Close off the mines. We're going to investigate. And then we have a letter from Felix to his wife. Eva, we have searched the mines for days now. We found something truly horrifying. I want you and Anna to leave Blackrun. I will meet you in the mountains of Halgen and the spot we danced. Hopefully, I will see you in three sun rotations. Okay. They found something terrible down in the mines. And he's told them to run away. Get out of Black Run because bad things are going to happen. Okay. Okay, fine. So we're connected to that little place over there. That's good. Um, and yeah, do we do some more trade? 22 more people. 22 more people will get us up to 100. Can we possibly sort that out? That's five people. So hang on. If we get rid of 15 of our gems... That's 760. So that gives us another, what's that? Seven people. Let's do that for now. I think maybe food might possibly be a little bit, we might be struggling for food now. So possibly uh, get some more farms in. Can we get some farms over here maybe? Um, that would be quite useful, wouldn't it? I imagine people are living over here now as well. Um, oh, we can't see who lives where. Ah, bother. Do you know what? Hang on. Get rid of those trees. So destroy all those trees there. Sorry, Arbris. I know you need them, but we need the land to build on. And um, yeah, let's get some farms in. So 10 stone. Right, we can get a farm there. And we can get a farm. Uh, mix it up a bit. Rotate it around a farm like that. And we can have another farm. Yeah, we can't have another farm there because we haven't got enough wood. Okay, never mind. Maximize the people in that one. Maximize the people in that one. Okay, maximize the people in that. 
maximize the people that right okay right run time on again and we'll see maybe if we can top up our food because i think our food we've got loads of people but we haven't really provided any more food for a while so maybe those farms over there are going to be quite helpful and also street lights over here completely forgot about street lights hang on sorry everybody hang on i got distracted street lights yay for the street lights oh no we have a homeless person over there that's not good hang on we need to build some more housing let's go to island number two over here and oh we can't build anything right now because we haven't got enough wood okay ah uh, yeah i forgot to tell people to go back to their jobs in the daytime that's a bit of a nuisance isn't it okay never mind right let's get through to about eight o'clock in the morning and then we'll tell everyone to go and do their jobs and hopefully they can gather many things and then yeah we need one more house I and mean, we could probably fit it in over there. One of our farms has gone. Ah, oh, we haven't got... Hang on, we have got defence. There are two defence-y things over there. Right. Uh, oh, hang on. Everyone's, everyone's doing their stuff now? Everyone's doing their stuff now. Right, okay. There are more trees over there than there were before. Uh, hang on, hang on. Where's the... Wasn't there a building there? Where's the where's the hut? Where's the gatherer? The wood hut? There's one there. The red one's vanished. Okay. <laughs> okay, some weird stuff is going on. Some magical mystery stuff is happening. But okay, it's all good. It's all fine. Right, so we've got loads and loads of materials. Can we then, yes, get ourselves a house over here, please? So we'll put a lodge in because they're a bit fancy. So can we fit a lodge? Put it there, look. There we go. And then hopefully that person over there will not be homeless anymore. Yay! Right, okay, that's good. That's good. So that's kind of worked out. People are sort of flying through the portals and they're going to their houses and what have you. Got some lovely street lights going on. What we don't have over here uh, is, is any kind of path. And it's relatively easy to get this in. So hang on, put time down to slow. Can we get some lovely path in? Because the other place has got path. I kind of feel like this should have path as well. So we'll just... Drop a lovely bit of path in. It's a bit on, bit on the wonk, but it's okay. Look, it's slightly wonkaloids. We'll just put some path kind of coming through like that because it looks nice. Sort of there. And then maybe have a thin bit coming out from the portal and maybe sort of... Oh, that doesn't entirely work. Like that then. And another bit sort of like that. So it connects up. So you can imagine them walking along the path and sort of round here. Down to here. And then possibly even a little bit coming round this way look just to connect that together like that and then a bit like that there we go so i can walk round the corner right that's good can we get another portal connected to another island just so we can carry on the story i'd quite like to know what happens in the tale what happens now oh, we need to get a temple in as well at some point um okay so if we drop that in say uh there that's okay. So another portal. Does that give us another thing? Letter four. A report from the Riverwood military commander. Day two, the portals have opened. The local village knows nothing about this. My men have defeated some of the creatures that have come through, but I fear we may not last long. Day five. We're down to three men. I am ordering a retreat. I have heard we have some airships ready to leave. We need to go. Now. Okay. So they thought they could fight it, but they could not and it all went horribly wrong. Oh dearie me. Oh, this isn't good at all, is it? Right, okay, there's our other two things we've connected to. Right, so speed this on. Are they all going to come out at 8 o'clock again? Are they all going to come out at 8 o'clock? Now they're all going to do their jobs without us having to tell them what to do. This is very strange. Okay, um, that airship is going to hang around for a bit, isn't it? We've got quite a lot of gems. So what if we get rid of, of 30 of our gems? That gives us 15 people. And that gives us 100 people, which is the maximum thing up here, look. We've got 100 villagers. Maybe, maybe we've not got the milestone because we haven't built a temple. We're lacking a building. So maybe it's saying, hang on a minute, hang on. I get what you're doing. You've got all the people, but you've got no temple. So maybe if we pop a temple in, I'm still not gone to tier 5 and 6. Well, there's nothing to do in tier 5 and 6, I don't think. But that's just going to make people happy, look. Just put a nice little kind of shrine thing down. Um, okay, we'll put one over here as well, look. There's a good spot for one there, actually. So pop a shrine just there, look. Can't put a shrine down. Hang on, what do we need for a shrine? Uh, is it 100 stone? 100 stone. Right, hang on a minute. Run time on. We'll get to 100. There we go, 100 stone. Yay. And also a defense balloon over here would not go amiss. Just maybe on this side, look, or 
there or there. There we go. That'll do. Wonderful. Nice and easy to get to. Come out of that. Pop somebody into that. Very good. Okay. So now we've got two little islands set up. This one over here, oh, that looks quite nice as well. It looks, look, it's got a little kind of temple-y thing in it now. People coming in, doing some farming. Food is looking good again, which is wonderful. We did lose one of our farms, but that's okay. Looks like the food is kind of you know, trickling back in okay. It's not brilliant, but it's not terrible either. Maybe over here, look, we could just have, this could be sort of bread basket island or something, because we have got 15 people idle. So why don't we get some housing set up over here. So get a couple of houses. So I'll get three houses, maybe. There we go. So three houses. And then can we get a campfire? Very good. And then we'll get some sort of stone path coming out of that thing, coming under the campfire. Uh, and they're coming over here to live. Look, oh, this is excellent. This is, uh, hang on, we've got no wood and no stone. But hang on a minute. I might possibly need to just let that carry on. Ah, right. So all the new people had no housing. We've still got some people with no homes. Right, wait a second. When we get to the morning, we shall, uh, yeah, chop a load of wood and then we'll get some more housing built. And then we'll just turn this. Oh, no. Ah, good. No, the bird's going over here. I think it got destroyed. Yeah, we haven't got any defence on that island yet. So hopefully it'll leave us alone. But yeah, we'll get, um when we get to the morning and we actually get some wood and stone, we'll get another house to make sure that everyone's got somewhere to live. Then we'll chop some wood. So we'll get a little wood choppery thing over there and then we'll get some farms just to make sure that we have plenty of food. And I think that will do. And then we just pop a portal onto another island and see the final bit of law. Farewell, little airship. We'll see you in a bit, maybe. Right, here we go. So we've not got any wood. We're gathering everything else. But ah, there you go. Wood is coming in. Wonderful. Right. So get one more house put together like that. Very good. Let's get some street lights put in because, you know, we've got standards and such. Um, I can't build that street light. Why not? Wooden stone. Okay, pop that there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then, yes, farms. 60 wood, 10 stone. We've got 50 wood. Botherations. Okay, let's not build a farm right now then. How about, though, how about we do get a defense thingy in and let's put somebody in that to make sure and they've come out of there that's good we could possibly do with a food store over here as well because if they need to eat they've got to go all the way over there right hang on hang on run time on until eight o'clock in the morning get more resources and then we'll set this up over here as a food place little bit of wood now we'll have a storage thing and this can just be yeah, our bread basket we just put loads and loads of farms over here for the 14 people to go and work in okay so mid-afternoon we've got quite a lot of resources again which is good right okay so let's get this set up shall we so build us let's build us an arborist for collecting wood so pop that in over there i'd say so they're near to some trees that makes sense right put the maximum amount of people into there please so three people can go into there I assume they might pop out from these houses here. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I think everyone's got a house, haven't they? But we might want to build one more house just to make sure. Because I'd like to get some more people in, I think. Get over 100. Just you know, really sort of go over the edge of 100 there. I right, said so get another house set up. Uh, and for some reason, we can't put it next to the other one. Why can't we put it there? Okay, we'll put it there. That's fine. They can have a little path going that way or something. And then ideally... I was thinking of getting rid of all of these trees here. So away with you lot. This is going to be where all the farms are going to go. So get rid of all that. Oh yeah, we do. Do we get wood from when we chop down a tree? Oh, we do. We get five wood each time. Oh, that's quite handy to know. There we go. So get rid of all those. We'll get rid of the sticky looking trees. It's fine. Get rid of that one as well. Right. So we've got a decent supply of wood. So now we can go to here and go to a farm. So we can say, okay, one farm, two farms, three hang on a minute money's chopped down to the tree away with you a sticky tree and you as well there you go 60 wood three farms nobody saw that it was flawless there we go splendid right so three farms then in here max and max and max and that should sort food out for us for a good long time i quite like that and you know what we can do as well we can get that nice path coming this way because we've got plenty of stone now which is wonderful so we'll just get the path coming along here like this and they can run through the front of these look and it can look pretty like that and then we've got no wood no wood at all can we chop down wood from anything can we go to any island as we can completely deforest that island 
Just get like a massive stock of wood. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that, look. Because I want to build some street lights. Sorry, island, but you know, lighting is important. Right, hang on a minute. Go to there, go to there, street light. Put one there. And then we'll put one there and one there and one there. I like that. I like the light. Hang on, that hasn't got one. It's a bit dark around there. Hang on a second. Let's pop one just there as well. That looks lovely. Wonderful. Um, okay. So we've got fairly decent supply of wood. Yeah, food is coming down. But I think when we actually get to work today, that should be pretty good. Everything else, loads of resources for everything else. So I think, I think, oh, hang on. Did a drag anything come to attack us? I suspect it did. I think we took care of it. But I wouldn't mind another one of those. Possibly just here, look. So put that there. Make sure somebody works in that thing. Look at that, all the people in the farms are all doing stuff. Okay, this is good. This is good. I think yeah, now we just get the final portal over to a random island. Uh, okay, that's the that's the floaty island of not much going on over there. Um, how about that one over there? Because it's got a bit of water on it. And if we wanted to, we could build a little kind of fishery thing. That'd be quite nice. But um, yeah, how about then we get this done? Let us pop down the final portal over here so we can see exactly what's going on with the story. So I think that should unlock the final bit of law. Here we go. What happened? A notice to all civilians, residents. This is an order of evacuation to the Skylands by way of airship. Make your way to the nearest airship. They have been instructed to take as many people as possible. Our land may be lost to the creatures, but we will thrive. And one day, hopefully, we will return. May luck be on your side the mayor. And that's it. So the order was given to get out of there. It was a case of, right, yep, you need to get out there, please. Leg it now. Oh, and there it is. Hang on, we can do some trading. Let's get some more people in, shall we? Um, Would you like some metal? We've got quite a lot of that now. So there we go. Um, Yeah, you can have that and we shall get ourselves a number of people. Let's just get over a hundred. Look, there we go. 110 people, 14 of them idle, just you know, living a lovely life. And I think that will do for now. I'm not quite sure why those milestones didn't sort of flag up, but I don't think there was anything to do for tiers five and six. I don't think we got any more building options, but that's okay. That's fine. We, yeah, we've got plenty of stuff. We had loads of things. In fact, you know what we could do? Just to wrap things up, put a little shrine down here. Look, a little shrine on this place just to keep people happy. So boop that over there. And there we go. There we go. I'd like to think people would be a little bit happier it's quite nice. Loads of food, loads of resources, got shrines. Everything is very pretty. You live in a really pretty place. Look at it. You look around. It looks beautiful. Everything looks amazing. I mean, OK, your original homes are being destroyed by terrible monsters. But you know, you've got to make the best of what you've got. It is ticking up. Look, 78%. They're quite enjoying it over here. Now, that's fine. So you know, I think that will do. That'll do. We'll finish things up for now with Polly Skies. But I quite like this. And yes, it is absolutely very relaxing. The only real thing you need to worry about in terms of not relaxing is the red sort of flying in things, the dragony things. But you have to build the balloons. But that's kind of, that's not really that much of a bother. You build the balloons and they kind of look after your islands for you. I don't think we've lost anything else, have we? Hang on a minute. Nip over here. Um, no, that house is still there. No, no, that one's gone. <laughs> the, ho the house over, was it that one? Uh, oh no, it is that one. It's that one there. No, it's still there. It's still there. Yay, so that house hasn't been destroyed. I thought it was, it was over there, but no, it was there. So they've not taken that one down again. So that's the only really non sort of sort of uh, relaxing thing about it when the dragony things come in. But other than that, it's quite lovely. I like the fact that it's quite free form and where you can put your decor. So you can put your path wherever you like. You can put the street lights wherever you like. They can go on the top of the building models and such. I quite like that. That's quite nice touch. That seems to yeah, make things a little bit easier to personalise and to yeah, do with as you will, which is very good. Um, some more decor would have been lovely. Some more decorative things would have been quite nice. But I think the game is still sort of being developed. I think it's still being worked on. So, uh, yeah, we might see some of those in the future, possibly. But, uh, but yeah, this has been fun. It's been fun. It's just nice and calm and relaxing. There's a bit of a story going on to it, which was quite fun to uncover. Everything looks lovely. The big airship looks very nice. It's just got a really relaxed kind of soundtrack to it. Everything's very sort of calm and chilled out. And yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice. There's no sort of pressure to do stuff. You can go, you know, work your way through the milestones if you want. You could 
just you know, go through really slowly. You could say, okay, each time we're only going to uh, we're only going to grab in two people at a time and just you know, really make a nice relaxed time of it. We do need another house. Hang on a second. Over here, let's get a house. We're not going to leave it with homeless people. That is bad. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, pop it there so it's in front of the campfire. There we go. Are they going to come over and join us? Uh, yes, there we go. People are coming over. I think they're going to boop through the portal. How's it going to work when it's that direct? There we go. We <laughs> flying through the sky to their new home. Welcome you lot. Jarl Crag and Hermione Hayworth. Another Hermione, my goodness. But there you go. Right, everyone's got a house. So yeah, I think we'll leave it for now. But yes, this does exactly what it says on the tin, as it were. It's a lovely, relaxing game where you can just sort of, you know, do things how you like. And there's no real pressures on anything except the dragony things. But there is a creative mode which I think gives you access to everything. You don't have to work your way through the different milestones to get to the building tiers. There is a creative mode where you can just go and build to your heart's content and do what you like, no resources. You can just make beautiful settlements up on all the islands and it would look amazing. But uh, yeah, I think we will finish things up for now because I think we've done all we can. Look, we've dealt with... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I say we've dealt with... There's a dragon thing on the roof... Get rid of the dragon -y thing. Keep firing at the dragon -y thing. Oh, there we go. The dragon -y thing is gone. There we go. Right, there you go. We've dealt with everything. We've kind of covered everything off. We've built all the buildings. We've got all the lore kind of uncovered. So yeah, I think it's a good time for us to finish things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Cunic, your time is now. And you have missed, Kunik. <laughs> this is this is unacceptable, Kunik. And Ash's caravan has been ambushed by man-hunting chinchillas. <laughs> Are you going to land on my potatoes? <laughs> that is just not the done thing. Oh, there's a lot of them. One, two, three. These guys have got amazing hair. I'm delighted that we've actually done something and it's worked.